Persona 5 spin-offs and Persona spin-offs in general are very divisive. There are people who like them, people who don't like them, people who want more, people who don't want more, and some people who view it as milking, and some who don't. For me, I don't mind the spin-offs. I think they're fun and neat for the most part, but I still have my own concerns about Tactica. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. So of course the obvious one that I've complained about a few times, Tactica takes place in the midst of Persona 5 Royals canon, which means there is a 9 out of 10 chance this game ends with a memory loss. The thing that concerns me about this is that this is the first spinoff we've had since Strikers, and there's no reason that this game can't take place post-Royal, or better yet, post-Strikers. If you know anything about me, it's that I kind of don't like these canon, not canon spin-offs. So unfortunately, I think this is less concerning and more of just an inevitability. But the real concern is that, is this the future for Persona 5 spin-offs? Because if it is, I kind of don't want them to do anymore. Honestly to me, a large appeal of Persona is the story and the characters. I want spin-offs to either expand on those, or at least work with existing storylines and characters, without having to erase any progress or relationship building that happens every time the game ends. It's kind of a shame. I know there are leaks about the DLC, but again, the same issue is there. If none of this is canon in the end, then how much will this change anything that's already happening? I think there's a high likelihood that this game has been in the works for a while, and that it could mean that the story was set in stone by the time Strikers was on its way out, which wouldn't allow for any major changes. But I'll kind of be disappointed if the setting of right before graduation just doesn't matter in any capacity, because it means they could have moved the setting post-Strikers, and it could have had no impact on the story whatsoever. Treasure! Huh? Now, since the first time I've complained about the visuals, I've kind of sat down and looked at them a little bit more. It looks... okay? I'm still not over the giant hands thing, but generally, unless you're really zooming in on the models a lot, I think it looks alright. And I guess uh, guilty a little bit here, but I kind of actually do really like the way Arsene looks in this style. Anyways, I wish they'd stick to the standard P5 style, because that just looks as good as Persona 5 could possibly look. I really don't want the spin-offs to diverge off that style, and I'm hoping that future ones for P5 don't. Exploring new art styles is cool, and sometimes it can lead to great things, but also sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All this said, there are things that I'm not too worried about either. I have no doubt that the music will be good. I think the gameplay will be at least solid, and I hope that the general fluidity of P5 remains, and that Persona crafting also just remains as abusable as it always is. But I think those things will be intact. There is not a single Persona 5 spinoff that doesn't have at least one generally good original song in my eyes. Yes, Groovy does have that one part, but aside from that, I think it's honestly pretty good. Basically, the obvious things will likely be good, and therefore are not a concern on my part. I'd be kind of impressed if this game turns out to be anything less than fun, even if the story is just kind of okay. But of course, that brings us to the story. Now I talked about the canon before, but that's not really the story per se. One thing recently is for certain, and it's that Atlas has kind of been struggling to tell good stories. I mentioned this before, but I really hope they can pull off a solid story again. Shin Megami Tensei 5 has almost no plot. It was bare bones and barely even has characters. Soul Hackers 2 has a decent outline for a plot, but it doesn't hold up in the end and feels like it's kind of rushing to get to the parts that actually matter. On the other hand, Persona 5 and Royal are generally good. I know there are people who will disagree, but people disagree on everything. The overall consensus is that Persona 5 story is strong, and its characters are also strong. Strikers kinda keeps the ball rolling, not as strong as P5R, but still decent until the final act where it just mirrors a little bit too much of Royal. So my hope is that we can at least come out of Tactica with a overall unique final act and a decent story. I'm not looking to have my mind blown, but I want something that can hold up and keep my attention.
I've seen a few complaints about the pricing of Tactica, and I don't really get it. That sounds kind of dismissive, but pretty much all video games in the current era cost $60. If you're not an indie or a remaster, there's a good chance that that game is costing the full 60. There are exceptions, of course, but I still don't see the issue here. Now, the digital deluxe with day one DLC is arguably concerning. This is the Atlas DLC thing again, which is, of course, worrying in its own right, but I'm not too bothered by this specifically either. I can fully understand being against Day 1 DLC, but this is story DLC, so it doesn't matter to me too much, because regardless of whether it was Day 1 DLC or not, it was going to be DLC down the line. This is definitely not something they would have included in the main game, because it's DLC now, which means it would be DLC later too. Also, it's better than Strikers not doing it at all when they very well could have, but hey, that's just me. Nice meeting you too, but wait, what are you talking about? Are you still half asleep or something? I mean, probably not. A Persona strategy RPG is very reasonable. It's clear that those surveys have inspired Atlas to try new ideas and games. Even if I have concerns, I will also try to keep my mind open so that when I finally play the game, I can approach it with a non-negative attitude. Tactica probably won't fail, but I'm curious to see how successful it is in the end as well. And do you have any concerns for Tactica, and maybe the future of Persona spin-offs? Let me know down in the comments below, because I just want to see what everyone thinks. You can leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Atlas, Persona, and JRPG related discussions. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.